Hey guys! Um, I just decided that I wanted to do a reading and see how it goes. I use oracle cards. I don't use the tarot cards. Um, this is a, a deck that I got um, just this week and it's called the Creativity Oracle. By, it looks like Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. This um, deck actually comes with like a huge, like a book. And the, um, the artwork on here is really pretty. So you can see just some of the cards. Oh, the glare. Sorry about the glare. Isn't that pretty? This one is called Preparation. I guess I'm not very prepared right now, am I? It's really pretty. So I'm going to say, what do we need to know as far as the collective? What do we need to know? What is the general message to close out today? So you should tell me the message that needs to be heard. Oh wow, that one's really pretty with the cats. This one's called Curiosity. And I certainly wouldn't want to say Curiosity killed the cat. I think Curiosity is a good thing. If you have Curiosity, you ask questions, and then a lot of problems that go unresolved get resolved because somebody asked the question. Sometimes old policies need to be kind of checked and uh, reassessed. And that won't happen if people aren't curious. Oopsie. All right. We got a few. Interesting. So, these are the cards we got. This one is called Wounds. This one is called Capable. It almost looks like there's like the flag up in here. Now then this one is called cycles. So of course with the collective we know that everything is um, we're going through a cycle right now of um, trust I would say. Um, everyone is is being forced to kind of face their wounds whether it's something that's more recent or something that's happened in the past um, just basically as a collective throughout history we've always had these stories about you know who's done who wrong and what group of people did this per group of people wrong and i'm not saying that it's okay that any of that's happened i'm just saying that um the wounds are run deep and the wounds do come into future generations of family and then it's just left for the family to keep working through those wounds um it's i mean it's been known through history that a lot of times people will share stories through um, verbal storytelling to share those stories down the line with their their next of kin and their next generation and through those stories we also share those woundings and of course the children who are hearing these stories are going to are going to be um, upset or angry at the wounds that their ancestors have have um, have had to deal with obviously but then on the more of the independent level we all have our normal our normal wounds that happen to us one way or another regardless if it's something that we decided upon ourselves 
or if it's something that we were kind of just born into or um, we're just suffering the consequences of our parents' decisions. And of course that causes wounds that maybe we didn't even know we were dealing with. Um, sometimes we're just told to like suck it up or, you know, you want to cry. Let me give you something to really cry about, which is just so sad if you think about it because if someone's crying, they're obviously hurt and who wants to be told just to be quiet? That's horrible. So in order to end this cycle, that we keep going through with our woundings we have to take responsibility for those wounds regardless of how they got there regardless if it was something you were born into regardless if it was something that was shared with you and it was something that kind of set hard on your heart about regardless if these are things that your own decisions have taken um taken hold of and created problems and woundings for you that caused you to maybe make decisions differently than what you would have regardless if you would have had a clean heart or a, a healed heart per se. Um, so this is basically telling us that we are all, all capable. That's what this card is. We are capable of healing our wounds. We are actually responsible for healing our wounds that we may have picked up through family lineage or our generational curses per se, but we are responsible for our own wounding and healing that wounding. There is no one responsible for anything that we go through except for ourselves. If we want to continue to blame other people for the things that we have experienced, you'll continue to blame other people for the things that you've experienced. It's just that simple. Um, and then of course, those wounds, you'll kind of carry those down the lineage of your children and their children. So if you can just for the for the benefit of your own kids, fix your own wounding. And when we fix our own wounding in the way that we see things, in the way that we project things, in the way that we accept things without questioning our own involvement in anything, you can save the pain of your kids just by focusing on what you're responsible for, which is everything everything in your life any every decision you've ever made whether it turned out well or if it turned out not so well you're responsible so if something's wrong in your life you know it's pretty much something that you need to address you are capable that's what the card says you can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise and it has the number 30 on the back so let's make a pact Pick one thing that you think that you can kind of address in your life. And by the 30th of this month, make it something so you don't have to deal with it anymore. Maybe your kids won't have to deal with it anymore. Maybe if you're younger, then your parents don't have to deal with it anymore. Just pick one thing and get rid of it. Whatever your issue may be. Break the cycle. break the cycle. That's what this card is. It's a cycle. The wind blows, the wheel turns. We go through cycles just like nature because we are a part of nature. We are a part of nature. Our moods and our emotions go with this, go with the ocean and the moon. And here's the moon here. Sometimes that moon can block the shine of the sun. Sometimes things seem so dark. Sometimes it seems like you don't have a way. Sometimes you just need maybe one or two little things in order to get your wounds healed. So what do you do? If only. How many times have I ever said, if only. All I ever needed was So this message goes out to myself as well. I'm capable of healing my wounds and changing the cycle so that then I can have plenty in my what ifs resolved so that I can help someone else with their what ifs. Choose one thing. Work on it to the 30th of this month. Do it for you. If you don't want to do it for you, do it for your children. 
They need us to be whole. Especially now. You can do it. I know you can. Well, thanks for spending the time with me tonight. And um, thank you for letting me do this with you. Take care.